Hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad to see you. And I decided that we could play a game this week. And this is how it's kind of going to work. I'm going to ask you some questions about the story of Job that I told you last week and the week before. Those two weeks, we talked about the story of Job. If you have not watched those videos, then you won't know the answers. So you might want to turn this video off and go back and watch those two videos before you do this one. But if you've watched those videos, then you can play along and keep your score. So here's how we're going to do it. I am going to ask you a question. And then I'll give you a little bit of time to think of the answer. And uh, then I'll tell you the answer. And then I will spin the wheel to see how many points we get. Now that says four up there. Um, so if I had asked you a question and I spun the wheel and got that four, then you would get four points for that question. Now you have to keep track of all your points. So probably write down how many points you get for each question. And then um, at the end, we'll see how many you got. All right, so let's get going. Our first question is about the eternal triangle. Do you remember that when we we did the first story, the first part of the story of Job, we talked about the eternal triangle. And there were three points up here at the top, down here, and over here, making up the eternal triangle. Now over here, we had people like Job. All right, and over here, we had the devil, Satan himself, who came to accuse people to try and get them in trouble. But who was at the top? Hmm, that's the first question. Who was at the top of the tr eternal triangle? Hmm, I'll give you a little bit of time to think about this. Hmm. Okay, did you guess that it was God? Maybe you knew it was God. You didn't have to guess. That's the right answer. God is at the top of the eternal triangle, and Satan tries to accuse people before God to try and get them in trouble. So let's spin the wheel. Three points. If you got the answer to that question correct, you got three points. That's pretty good. All right, question number two. Satan accused Job of only worshiping God because God did something for him. What was it that God did for him? Hmm, that might be a toughie. Hmm. What did Satan say God did for Job that caused Job to worship God? Hmm. Did you say he made him rich? Did you say he kept him safe? Both of those answers are right. So if you got either one of them, if you got he made him rich, or if you said he kept him safe, both those answers are right, and you can get these points, okay? Five points! Wow! Boy, if you have gotten both those questions right so far, you already have eight points. That is phenomenal. Wow, you guys are doing great. 
So let's go on to the third question. How many friends came to visit Job? Do you remember? Do you remember that at first it talked about three friends? <laughs> I just told you the answer. <laughs> but how many were there really? Hmm. Hmm. It wasn't really three was it? Did you say it was four? Because that would be the right answer. I gave that one away, I think, but I'm going to give you some points for it if you got it right. Two points. Two points if you got that there were four friends, not three. Okay, number four. Name one thing his friends accused him of. Each friend accused him of something else. Can you name one of the things they accused him of? Hmm. This one is tough. Hmm. Well... The first friend so far said he was not trusting God enough. Was that true? No, that wasn't true. But that's what he accused him of. He said he wasn't trusting God enough. Well, Bildad the Shuhite said that he had a big sin that he'd been doing and he was hiding it. That wasn't true either, but that's what he accused him of. And Eliphaz said he needed to confess his sins and get right with God. He wasn't right with God. Hmm. That wasn't true either, was it? <laughs> but the fourth guy, the young guy named Elihu, he said that Job was trying to justify himself instead of justifying God. And there was some truth to that one. But if you got any of those four, not trusting God, hiding a big sin, not being right with God, or justifying himself, if you got any of those four, then you can get these points that I'm going to give you right here. Four points. All right. That's good. Did you write it down? Okay. Number five. Job said that after he was tested, he would come forth like something. What was that something that he said he would come forth like? Hmm. After he's tested, he's going to come forth like this something. Hmm. Did you think of it? Did you remember that it was gold? It's even in our memory verse, isn't it? He said after he was tried, he'd come forth like gold. Yes. We'll take a look at that memory verse in a few minutes. But if you got gold, then how many points do you get? Five points. Wow. You are getting lots of points, I hope. Okay. Number six. Who asked Job these questions? Who asked him, where were you when I did this? And the other question he asked over and over is, do you know how to do this? Who asked those questions? Do you remember? 
It was God who asked him those questions. And he asked him, where were you when I created the world? Where were you when I did this? Where were you when I did that? Yeah, all those questions. And do you know how to, how, do you know how to keep the planets in space? Yeah, things like that. That's what God asked him. So if you said God, then you were right. And you get six points. Whoa, Madobi! You get six points. I wonder, how many points do you have so far? Let's see. I've given out 25 points so far. If you got all of them right. Wow, that's a lot of points. But we've still got two more questions. So you can get some more. Number seven. After God spoke to Job, he spoke to his friends and he told them that they should do something. They should bring some sacrifices and they should ask Job to do something for them. What did his friends ask him to do for them. Do you remember that? Hmm. It's a good thing to do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you guessed pray for them, that is the right answer. And that's what we should do for our friends, isn't it? We should pray for them. So if you got that right answer, One point. That doesn't seem like very many points for that big question, does it? But that's what it is. Last question. <gasps> okay. What did God do for Job afterwards? Do you remember what he did for Job afterwards? After the test was done? What did he do for Job? Did he make him rich again? Maybe even richer than he was before? Did he give him more children? Did he make him live another 140 years? Wow! Yes, he did all those things for him. He had let Satan take away all his riches, take away all his children, and made him very, very sick, right? But now he's well, and he lives another 140 years, and he has more children, and he's richer than he was before. Did you get any of that? If you got any of those, then you get the points, okay? One point. Okay, so let's see. How many points were there then? 10, 20, 25, 26, 27 all together. If you got all of the answers right, then you got 27 points. Wow, that's wonderful. But, you know, if you didn't get them all right, you can go back and watch the stories again. And you can play this video again and play the game again. Maybe you'll get 27 points next time. Okay? Now, next week, I'm going to start a new story. And we'll be talking about another fruit of the Spirit. I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. You have to come back next week to find out what it is. But this week, we talked about the fruit of the Spirit called long-suffering, which is about the same thing as patience. And we know that that means that we can wait cheerfully, even if we're hurting, right? And so, I'm going to pick up our memory verse now, so we can go over it. 
and uh, you have to lift it up a little bit so you can see Job 23.10. And read it with me. But he knoweth the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Job 23.10. Okay, good. I hope you memorized that verse this month. If you did, when I see you again, you can tell me about it, all right? But next week, I will look forward to seeing you. And I think some of the puppets will come next week. So you better watch. Don't miss it. Bye-bye.